In today's Matchday Vlog, it is Warsaw's final league game of the season, playing at home versus Melbourne. This was my first game in eight weeks since breaking my hand earlier in the season. It was a perfect day for rugby, the sun was shining, and let me tell you, this game did not disappoint. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button to not miss videos like this. Let's get into the video. Right, so we just went to get some food and we got a burger that we thought was a burger, smash burger, and it was a vegan burger. We got back, we ate it. it was we took the L. Yeah, it took the L, not for me. <laughs> so we've got Crave Burger here, Brioche Bum. I haven't got high hopes for it, but we'll, we'll, we'll give it a go. Taste test. Out of 10? I don't want to give it a rating out of 10. Four. I think. <laughs> no, but what you'd expect on a van, that's a 7.5. Mm. Yeah, we're from Dubai. Oh, Dubai, yes. These are the boys from Dubai. These boys have come from Dubai. Imagine you've come from a school trip. You've come oh, no. from Dubai to London to play seven, so that's mad. Boys, good luck with your games. Oof. Right, so we've got a little ball challenge here. I'm going to smash it. My hand's a bit sore. Yeah. I don't know. No. Ooh. You don't pass. Well, some of these lads don't look 18. That was a good one. one. That was a good one. Good. There's one thing that Roslyn Park is not short of, and it is mullets. <laughs> How many mullets do you see today? <laughs> a mullet count. I need to grow one. <laughs> Why are all these 15 year olds taller than me? Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to another video. The match day vlogs are returning. Oh, I feel like I haven't said that for such a long time. I've been injured for the past like seven weeks, hence why I haven't uploaded on YouTube. So first off, I just want to say I'm really sorry for not uploading on YouTube. I've been so busy over these past like seven weeks. There's been so many things I've been doing and obviously I haven't been playing as well, so I haven't been able to get a match day vlog. But today is our last game of the season and the match day vlogs are back. <laughs> Right, so I thought let's just have a catch up, let's have a talk and let me tell you about what I've been doing over these past seven, eight weeks, however long I haven't uploaded. God, that is so long, sorry guys. But yeah, I've had a crazy past couple of months. We've been doing a lot of work. If you have been following me on Instagram, TikTok, you would have seen the charity match is coming very soon. Now I do want to announce everything and I want to tell you guys, but there's things in place that as of right now and when this video is going out, I cannot announce things and tell you guys more about it yet. But as soon as I get an update for the charity match, as soon as I'm able to actually tell you guys trust me I'm gonna be telling you now as well as that I've been doing loads of other filming I've been filming with England rugby went up to Kendall rugby club um, there's something fun coming from there I also did some filming with the BBC which was pretty fun I went away to Mexico for a week which to be fair was really nice just to have a holiday um, kind of have a bit of a break for a bit I literally haven't had that for years and yeah what else have I done I've been to Roslyn Park I did some filming with Gymshark which was really cool and yeah there's literally just been so much work that's been going on in the background to try and get 2024 to be a massive year for me so I just haven't really prioritized time to you know think of ideas film them edit them and get them out on YouTube which I should have been and I felt really bad so I'm glad to be back you cannot beat a white monster it's literally like liquid crack so today is the last game of the season and I did an Instagram video about this this has been by far my worst season probably in my life honestly it feels like I've played about six games a season well to be fair I've played I think I've literally played about eight games this whole season obviously earlier on in the season I had injury with my shoulder when I tore my AC joint then I broke my hand and um, yeah it just hasn't been ideal at all however I am kind of back there now but I just thought you know it's last game of the season we've got a social afterwards and I am itching to play and get a video out for you guys as well so today we're playing at home against Melbourne Now Melbourne we played the first game of the season which I obviously didn't play as well because I was injured uh, but I think they are a good side and it should definitely be a good game for the last game of the season but we've also got the Papa John's Cup which I think I'll be playing as well and then I've got some sevens lined up in May then I'm going to Marbella and then we've got the charity match and then I've got loads of other sevens tournaments after in like July and maybe one in August so there's still lots of rugby to come guys now I did mention that we've got a social after this game so the social is you've got to dress up it's fancy dress and you've got to dress up as something that begins with the first letter of your first name so mine is going to be M we had a bit of a problem now this here is a Jaguar suit it's like animal print but 
what I wanted to dress up as. It was pretty rogue, pretty funny, but if you saw the Telegram article about me, yeah, that Telegram article was crazy. They spun the narrative, like, pretty much the whole interview that I did with them was about grassroots rugby, what I'm doing for rugby, what I want for rugby, and then the headline, they basically just said, I'm earning more money than the professional rugby players, and they're jealous, or whatever it is. Uh, but I thought it'd be funny to go tonight as money, M, money. So I was gonna order a, like a full suit that is like printed dollars, but we've ordered the wrong suit. So at the minute, I'm waiting for one to come today and it's Saturday, it was next day delivery. So I hope it comes tonight because also I've got a money gun. I've got a money gun, $10,000, and hopefully the suit comes, I'll be spraying cash in the rugby club. Right, so we're all packed up, ready for the game now. We've got to go and fetch Ben, and then we're heading to the club. I nearly forgot, actually. Red Bull sent me a shit ton of Red Bulls. Don't drop them, don't drop them. Red Bull sent me a shit ton of Red Bulls, and I thought, what better way than to use them, take them to the last game, let the boys have one before the game. Right, let's set off, ready for the game. Also, guys, I've had this car now for nearly a year, and I think I want to get a new one. It's a BMW 1 Series M Sport, but I definitely want a new car very soon. So let me know in the comments what should I get. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's king in the castle, king in the castle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. King in the castle, king in the castle. Can you give him some context as well? Yeah. They'll see you later in the video. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I have you, I have you. This is the lineup for today's team for the last game of the league this season, and it feels good to be back in the squad. So for the forwards in the front row, we have got Ben Cooper, Dan Farr, and Simon Weaver. In the second row, we've got Lucas Cottrell and Matt James. And then in the back row, we've got Neil Holden, Max Hughes, and George Perkins at eight. In the backs today, we've got Joe Coleman at nine, Ben Pitt at 10, Adam Nunny and Rob Angel in the centers, me and Connor Rowe on the wings, and Hanson Christofferson at fullback. Right, so kicking off into the first half, what a day for it, the sunshine. In, got a decent crowd at home as well. Starting off here with Melbourne on the attack, um, and we are just scrambling, trying to get a bit of defence. Uh, me and Hanson making a tackle there, putting them out into touch. Uh, Warsaw line out now, great take there from George. Um, and a couple of minutes later, we're back up the field, and the line out does go to us, which George takes him. Then we can see here Ben looking to try and spread it wide, Nunny crashing it through, taking a few defenders with him, bumping through. Nunny just doing what he does. And then you can see Ben puts a little kick over the top which their 15 tries to recover but does just fumble that about um, and then tries to run it back Hanson with a good tackle there and um, we're just disrupting that as much as possible they're trying to now <clears throat> escape their line and their nine does kick it out Warsaw line out now great take from Matty James into Joe Coleman Joe into Ben Ben gives that out into George George taking that up then we look to spread it a little bit wider but the ball does go loose hands not really on point there um, and it is a little bit messy now Warsaw also scrum now and it goes out to Ben, Ben into Rob, Rob just crashing that up the middle. Then we look to go a little bit wider, Ben puts another kick through over the top into their 15. 15 just runs straight at me and I just tackle him there. Then Melbourne with a kick over the top there, comes into Hanson, Hanson's got that and he takes the ball into contact, gets caught. Then Neil with quick reactions, with a quick pick and go, breaks the line, gets through, steps inside, the fullback has not got him and Neil goes under the post for Warsaw's first try which Ben goes for the conversion and as you can see from the wind here it was very windy today but he does get the drop goal so a very good start for Warsaw 7-0 uh, Melbourne just kicking off here into Max Max gives that out to Ben and Ben with a big clearance kick you can see the wind was on our side this first half Melbourne with a line out but it does get overthrown and Max catches that steps inside steps another one uh, great carry there from Max in the centre just coming into their 22 now George is crashing this up and unfortunately we do lose the ball so they're number two just running that in and they've turned over possession so then Melbourne on the attack trying to build a few phases good tackle there from George and Weaver um, and then another big tackle from Lucas and Neil comes out wide big tackle there from Rob uh, they just offloads that goes into their right takes it in Melbourne now building a few phases the 10 puts a big wide pass over the top which Connor does knock on so 
we go back to a penalty, which they kick out. And I've got to say, this first half, we gave away so many penalties. It was literally the only thing that was pinging us. We were just making our own mistakes here. Connor's made another one, and he does get a yellow card for a deliberate knock-on. Uh, Melbourne with a driving ball here, which they build a few phases from. They go with a quick tap and go again from another penalty, and they do manage to get over the line for a try, which they go for the conversion, but they do just miss that. So as I was saying, we were giving away so many penalties in this first half, um, and it just kept putting us back into the corner, and we were really just kind of killing ourselves here. However, quick penalty for us now, Joe tries to tap that, steps steps inside, then realizes he's not taking that into contact, gives it out to Ben. Ben breaks the line, tries to get the offload to Hanson, but unfortunately the ball does go loose there. So we go back for a scrum, Melbourne scrum, great pressure there from Joe, and we're just trying to disrupt this rook as much as possible, which then Melbourne looking to play on their own, but Ben disrupts the ball, Rob picks it up and scores, but we do go back for a penalty, which Melbourne kick out. It's Melbourne uh, line out now, but it does come out to George, into Joe, Joe spreads that to Ben. Ben looks to go a little bit wider, but does get caught up in the middle. Then, we, after a couple more phases, Ben spreads that wide into Lucas. Lucas gets the offload to Isaac, but unfortunately, he said that pass was forward, so it is called back. Now, Melbourne on the attack, their winger throws a bit of a loose ball. Um, they're 13 they're just taking that into contact but again we call back for another penalty and uh, now Melbourne here with a line out good tackle there from Ben uh, Melbourne now looking to spread it a little bit wider they go at the back 15 puts a kick through which I am chasing back and then I just regather the ball look up look for a bit of space uh, realize I've gone the wrong way so try and boss one of them get back on the outside then we've found the space we're on the run give that into Max Max then draws the player gives it to Nunny Nunny back inside to Hanson Hanson tries to pass that but it goes into their nine but it does very well to keep the ball then Warsaw bringing a few more phases now coming into their 22 Rob just crashing that up the middle as well <clears throat> and then we look to spread it wider comes out to Isaac Isaac takes it in uh, we go for another phase with Ben Cooper but unfortunately the ball does come loose and Melbourne regain possession so Melbourne again now on the attack looking to spread that wide into their winger who's got a bit of space but a good cover tackle there from Dan Farr and Joe Melbourne just trying to exit their half but with some hands here the ball does go out. Nunny with a big clearance kick here. You can just see from this kick, the wind was on our side. Warsaw now on the attack, comes into Ben. Ben spreads that really wide into Nunny, into Rob. Then we go wide again, but it's been called back for a scrum. So Melbourne with the scrum here, looking for a good move out the back. Uh, the 10 then takes that in. Another scrum here and it comes wide out through Melbourne's backs. A decent little player here and a good tackle there from Ben. Comes wider again into the winger who then me and Ben just tackle. Melbourne now with a line out in our 22, just gave away another penalty. They go in here with the driving mall. Um, Warsaw just trying as hard as possible to try and defend that. Uh, they're trying a few more phases, and then after a couple of phases, the nine spots a gap, pick and go, and he goes under the post to score a try, which they do also get the conversion for. Now Melbourne on the attack again, looking to spread that wider, comes out to their 15. Joe comes across for that tackle, and I get that one get him down. They do drop the ball so it comes out to Rob. Rob takes that in himself but it's called back for a penalty which Ben goes for but unfortunately just misses the post. Now Warsaw on the attack again. Max taking that in. Coming a little bit wider. Ben gives that out to Matty. Out to Rob. Rob. Three on one. You've got to give them <laughs> but he takes it in. Couple of minutes later now Melbourne on the attack. Uh, switch play here. Their one breaks the line. Gets through a few tackles and then he puts him down. And then the 10 puts a little chip through. The winger is chasing it. It bounces perfectly up to him but I've just got back and tackled him to stop him from scoring which then they go for another phase and we do get the turnover. Money with a big clearance kick here um, nice and deep into their half which then goes their 15 but he does fumble that. The winger picks it up and sorry Connor I had to put this in he <laughs> just sits Connor down but Hansen does hold on and gets that tackle. Melbourne on the attack and the nine goes for another pick and go, finds a gap around the fringes, runs through, sells the dummy and the nine goes through for another try, which they do get the conversion and that was the first half done. So not the best first half at all for Warsaw. We were giving away so many penalties, which was just shooting ourselves in the foot. At Melbourne were then kicking, they had a good driving mall and they were building phases off it, which then kind of broke down our defense for them to score and we weren't looking after the ball enough in attack. So going into the second half now, we really need to ramp things up, ramp our defence up and just keep the ball in attack if we wanted to 
win this game. Here we are, deep in our own half, trying to play this, trying to run with the ball. Ben then gives it to Hansen. Hansen takes it in, gets the offload to me, which then I just have to put my head down, take that into contact. And then the ball comes out to Ben, but it's a little bit behind him. The ball goes loose, and Melbourne regain possession. And after a couple of phases, they do manage to crash it over and get a try, which they do miss the conversion, but not a good first response in this second half from, from us. 10 then puts a nice deep kick into our half. They've got the win now. Hansen's there to cover that. Hansen looking for the space, takes it back, runs in and breaks through the line, gets through a couple of tackles, then goes for the offload, but it is a bit loose, but Warsaw managed to keep possession. Warsaw now trying to build, Rob breaking the line, breaking through a few tackles. Then we look to spread it a little bit wider. Toby's on at 10 now, out into Max. Then we go again, comes back out to Rob. Rob just boshing that up. Then it comes out a little bit wider again to Toby. Toby into Hansen. Hansen steps inside, tries to get that offload, but it is turned over by Melbourne and they do manage to clear their lines. Line out now for Warsaw. Great take from Matty into Ben, into Toby. Toby spreads it wide into Nunny. Nunny just absolutely boshes one of their players. Takes that in with about three defenders around him. George now taking that in himself, but it is called back for a penalty which now Warsaw on the attack in their own 22, comes out to Connor, Connor spreads it wide into Nunny, Nunny's on the wing and he just takes that in, manages to keep in play. Then Ben with a quick pick and go on the blind side and he is through but he just gets tackled out. Warsaw scrum now comes out to Ben, Ben with a wider ball to Toby, Toby then gives it to Hanson but the ball does go loose which Melbourne then chase, they kick it through, I recover the ball, I'm trying to wait for it to go out but it's not going to so I had to just put that down. Goal line drop now comes into Melbourne. Then Melbourne just trying to build some phases just inside our 22, but the ball does go out of play. Warsaw now trying to exit, but we're trying to run it. Ben gives it wide out to Hansen. Hansen then takes that into contact. A bit of a loose offload to Ben, but Ben then takes it into contact himself. Then Max takes a penalty, quick tap and go, and one of their players just goes in with no arms, no attempt to wrap, so he does get a yellow card. Now Warsaw on the attack, Lucas spreading it a bit wider, gets the offload to Nunny. Nunny with the hands to Rob. Rob then just crashing that in himself. And Warsaw are one man up now, so we need to really try and take advantage of this. We're on the attack now. Connor takes it in, gets a great offload there to Nunny. Nunny tries to spread it, but their winger just deliberately knocks that on. And we were on. There was me and Hansen outside and no defenders. So he gets another yellow card. Neil just taking that in, crashing it into the centre. Quick tap and go penalty from Ben. Ben looks to spread it, then gives it to Neil. Neil crashing that up, and he's literally about five metres out now. Just gets caught short. Uh, we go on that blind side again. Uh, and Isaac taking that in, he's literally like a metre short. Then Ben tries for the pick and go, and he does get stripped, um, which unfortunately then Melbourne clear the ball, uh, comes into Connor, Connor catches that, spreads it into Hansen. Hansen then looking to open up the pitch, uh, tries to give a pass to me, but it's a bit of a bounce and goes behind me and does go out. So now Warsaw on the attack in our own 22. Toby finds a space, gets through the gap, um, sells the dummy, and then bounces off their nine, gives that then wide into Hansen. Hansen's on the wing, can he make it? He's got two players hanging off him, but he gets down for a great finish there. Now Melbourne aren't giving up, they're still attacking and they're trying to break down our defense and they're doing pretty good phases to be fair. Um, it looks like they're in on the wing here, but some good cover defense from Warsaw. Um, and they're still attacking and attacking which we again gave away another penalty so it's a line out to Melbourne they go for that driving mall they are literally five meters out now however we do get the turnover Ben with a quick tap and go into Nunny then we're looking to play it from our own half so Ben gives that to Rob Rob finds a gap breaks through three tackles gets past their nine gets around him but he does get caught and that did not look nice um, his knee just bent in half so Rob did go off at this point now Warsaw on the attack we're just entering their 22 Cooper takes that in George takes it in five meters out now Ben into Toby Toby spreads that and we're looking like we're going to score on the wing and Lucas dots it down for another try as you can see here Warsaw we're just trying to play everything we can we are probably one score behind now Toby makes a great break gets that pass off to Ben Ben is looking like he's through gets a pass back off to Toby Toby then does get caught in the tackle and they dislodge 
dodge the ball. So it's a scrum from Elbum, a 10 with an exit, um, which does go over my head. Not long left of the game now, and Melbourne is still attacking, and we are desperate for a try. We are running the ball from our own half. Hansen here um, runs across, but does get to hook out into touch. Now Melbourne have secured the ball, and they are attacking in our 22. Uh, trying to build the phases, and Warsaw just trying to keep that defensive line. George with a great tackle there, um, and we are literally defending, we can't concede another try right now. They're nine then looking to open it up and they're trying to build more and more phases. They're just inside our 22. Melbourne applying the pressure in these last couple of minutes of the game. Nine steps through, gets really short and then they do manage to just about push that over and get another try, which they also then get the conversion, which is not long left of this game now. Hansen's chasing an exit, um, looking to open up that play and he's looking to try and find me, but there's just so many defenders there, um, so we can't get any space. Last minute of the game now, it's a scrum for Warsaw. Ben takes it on the blind side on his own, steps to 14, gets on the inside, hand off to the nine, and Ben breaks the line and gets through for a try in the last play of the game, which he does miss the conversion, but it was a nice way to end the game. So that was the final whistle, and the game ended there, 31-22 to Melbourne. Not the best result for Warsaw and definitely not the best performance at all. However, we are playing against Melbourne again next week in the Papa John's Cup, so we've got a chance to redeem ourselves and try and get a win over them. But well done to Melbourne, it was a deserved win on the day. And yeah, that is the end of the league this season. Definitely not our best season at all, but we're always building for next season. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. So from me and another Matchday vlog, I'll see you in the next video.